Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Amen. Does anybody love the Lord this morning? If you love him, come on and give God glory. Amen. 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 The summer said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. I wonder if there's anybody here. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Is there anybody in this house? Amen. Have a reason to give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise be to God for another day that he had made. Consecrate us now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let our souls look up with a steadfast hope, and our will be lost and thine. This morning we have come to magnify the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. And it is good to be here. Amen. 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 God been with us all week long, yes. and now we are here in this place. This morning, I give honor to the name of Jesus, who is our Christ. To my wife, First Lady Worley, who is the apple of my eye, the sugar in my coffee. Amen. Amen. I thank God for her. Amen. To all preachers, to the officers of this First Night Missionary Baptist Church, and to those of you that are so kind to join us by Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, I have a method that you've joined us. Amen. We're glad that you're here with us on this morning. Amen. For we have come for no other reason than to give God some praise. Amen. 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 The summer said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. How many know he's worthy on this morning? Hallelujah. 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 This morning as we began our worship, amen, we ask that you stand all over this sanctuary, amen, and ask that you bow your heads as we go to God in prayer on this morning. Precious Savior, it is me again. And God, today as we approach your throne of grace, seeking help in our time of need. God, we say thank you, first of all, for uh, you just being so kind, so loving, and so merciful. Thank you for being so forgiving, so long-suffering, so patient with us. God, we just give you praise, and we exalt your name on today. Uh, God, we invoke your presence into this worship. God, that your spirit will fall fresh in this house. God, that we lift up holy hands and, and, and give you glory, that we open our mouths, God, and tell you thank you. Lord, you have blessed us. You've been with us, not only through last week, but down through the years. God, you've been good to us. So, God, we say thank you today. So, God, just have your way today in this place. Let your anointing fall fresh on us. God, for we know that it's your anointing that destroys every yoke. So, God, let your anointing fall fresh on this choir. The musician, let it fall fresh, Lord, in these pews and in this pulpit. God, just have your way. Oh, God, for we come to bless you. Oh, God, thank you, Son Jesus. God, you're mighty God. We reverence you today. We lift you up. The one who said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. So God, have your way today. And God, when it's all said and finished, you alone shall receive the glory, the honor, and the praise. This is our prayer. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we continue our worship this morning, we invite you to join in with the choir, amen, as they give us our opening hymn, hymn number 31, 51 in your hymnals. Let us sing together, hold to God's unchanging hand, amen, amen. Let us bless the Lord. Let 
gotta say it together. When everything else fails, we know we can hold to God's unchanging hand. And one thing about God, he will hold you up. Amen, amen. The other folk might let you down, but God will never let you down. So just hold to God's unchanging hand. Our scripture this morning will be read by...
Sister Sherry McDonald, follow the scripture. We'll be led in prayer by Sister Denise Williams. Good morning. Good morning. Giving on to God, Pastor Worley, everyone that's in the building. If you'll stand for our scripture this morning. I'll be reading from Romans 8, chapter, starting at the 36th verse. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. May God add a blessing to his red word. Good morning. morning. First, giving honor to God, Pastor Worley, all ministers, members, saints, and friends. We bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, we come to you in prayer, Lord, asking you to forgive us of our sins. Lord, we just want to take this time to say thank you, Lord. Father God, thank you, Father God, for your scripture that's been read on this morning, Father God. Father God, for it said, I am persuaded that nothing will separate you. From your love, Lord. And for that, I just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for your grace and thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for how you looked on us last night, Father God, and kept us as we slept and slumbered, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for how you kept us all through the week, Lord, allowing no danger, hurt, harm, or complications to come to us, Father God. Father God, as we have assembled ourselves together, Father God, in your house, Father God, to worship you, Father God, to glorify you, Father God, to give you honor and glory, Father God, because you're worthy of all the praise, Lord. And Father God, for that, we just want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to be in our right mind on this morning, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we pray and ask that you touch those, Father God, that have not, you know, yet made it here, Father God. And those that have, don't have a mind to even come out on this morning, Father God. Touch those, Father God, that are in the hospitals, Father God, in the rest homes, Father God, in prison, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Father God, for they all need you, Lord. And Father, we ask that you, Father God, just come into the midst of this service on this morning. Father God, we ask that you just have your way in the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, I ask that you touch your man servant on this morning, Father God. Father God, I ask that you pour into him, Father God, as he pour into your people, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, but most of all, Father God, we just want to take the time to just thank you, to praise you, and to worship you, Lord because you are worthy of all our praise, Lord. And we love you on this morning, Lord. And Father God, this is my prayer to you. In Jesus' name, amen.
over it. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am grateful. I'm grateful. Grateful. Anybody grateful this morning? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Glory. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, yes. Grateful. It's all right to worship, y'all. It's all right to worship. God, we serve. Amen. Amen. We ought to be grateful this morning. Amen. Because it was God who woke us up early this morning. Gave you the use and activity of your limb. Amen. I don't see a crutch nowhere. I don't see a wheelchair nowhere. I don't see a coffin in front of this pulpit nowhere. Amen, amen, amen. And so just because God brought you into this situation, you ought to give God some glory. Is that all right? Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Bless the name of Jesus. We thank God for this choir. Amen. We thank God for the spirit of Christ that's already in this place. Amen. And we ask that y'all just come on and grab hold. Let go, let go. Amen. And the choir is going to give us another selection. Your hands together. You can stand and help us out. What can I say about your mercy? What can I say about your grace? All that I know that you've been faithful. One thing for sure is I love to call your name. What can I say? about your mercy what can i say about your grace all that i know that you've been faithful one thing for sure as i love to call your name now if i say you're good you've been better than that if i say you're great you've been greater than that if i say you're sweet you are You've been more and more in my life. You know he's been more and more in my life. Do, 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 do. He'll make you want to sing. Shoot, do, shoot, do. Shoot, do, 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 do. do. What can I say about your mercy? What can I say about your grace? All that I know that you've been faithful. One thing for sure is I love to call your name. Now, if I say you're good, you've been better than that. 
If I say you're great, you've been greater than that. If I say you're sweet, you are sweeter than that. You've been more and more in my life. Now, if I say you're rich, you've been richer than that. If I say you're strong, you've been stronger than that. If I say you're holy, you are more than that. You've been more and more in my life. Shoot, do, 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 do. Shoot, do, 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 do. Shoot, do, shoot, do. Shoot, do, 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 do. Shoot, do, shoot, do. Shoot, do, 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 do. Shoot, do, 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 do. I know you've been good, but you've been better I know you've been good, but you've been better than that. I know you've been good, but you've been better than that. 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 I know you've been strong, but you've been stronger than that. I know you've been strong, but you've been stronger than that. I know you've been strong, but you've been stronger than that. Better than that. Better than that. Better than that. Better than that. Greater than that. Greater than that. Better than that. Better than that. Richer than that. Richer than that. Richer than that. Better than that. Better than that. Better than that. Sweeter than that. Sweeter than that. Sweeter than that. Sweeter than that. Better 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 than that. Amen. Thank you. It's been better than that. Amen. Amen. This time we will have our announcements. Amen. My sister Jackson. Amen. Good morning. We're going to honor some God, talk to Jordan, and the announcements from the program RFR. Youth, Young Adult Choir rehearsal will be Thursday at 7 p.m. Deacon Donald Mitchell would like to meet with all members of the Pastor's Faith Church the following morning. Pastors, Combined Choir, and Congregation will be at All Nations in St. Paul on March 20th at 6.30 p.m. for their church anniversary. Church calendar meeting will be April 1st at 9 a.m. All auxiliary leaders and officers are asked to be present. Leadership meeting will be held April 6th at 6.30 p.m. Pastor and First Lady Worley's 22nd Pastoral Anniversary is the 15th and 16th. All members are asked to give a love offering of $50. Bible study will be Wednesday at 7 p.m. Remember the sick and shut-in with your prayers and visits. This concludes your morning announcement. Thank you. Amen. Amen. He's been faithful to us, and, and we bless the Lord. We thank God for this choir this morning. I see they got, got some new members. Come on and bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank
Thank God for this choir, amen, who are singing out of the depths of their heart, amen, and we praise God for them, amen, our musicians, amen, uh, God is still in the blessing business, amen, this had been a busy week for uh, myself and uh, First Lady, we've been in service every night this week, and including yesterday, and yesterday evening, amen, amen, but God is faithful. Amen. He will give us strength, amen, to keep on going. Amen. Amen. So we, we thank God. We had our mid-annual session on uh, Monday through Thursday, and what an awesome time we had. Amen. Those of you that were there know that we had an awesome time in worship. Amen. Our training was, was phenomenal. Uh, so we just had a great time, and we want to encourage all of you. Amen. Uh, we didn't have Bible study win tonight. Amen. Amen. And, and it went out that we want every one of us that could to attend. Amen. Uh, the mid-annual session. Amen. But y'all chose to take another night off. <laughs> Amen. 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 We can't serve God enough. Amen. Amen. We can't we can't serve him enough. Every opportunity we get, amen, we ought to uh, be somewhere praising God. Amen. 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 And fellowshipping together. Uh, on uh, this weekend, there was a women's session over at Second New Light. Amen. And I wish y'all had been there yesterday. Uh, uh, Dr. McCrimmon, he did a workshop. Amen. We need that workshop. Amen, amen, amen. It was talking about the gifts of helps. The gifts of helps. And, and in that, we need each other. We need to help each other. We need to be able to help, you know, in our sanctuary. We need to help in our ministry, amen. So uh, I wish y'all had been there. It was an awesome uh, uh, seminar on yesterday. Uh, God is uh, allowing us to receive some good and, and valuable information that will help us, amen, as we continue to move forward to serve him, that we would do a better job of serving him, amen. I uh, want to uh, also share with you that uh, our uh, sister Robinson had uh, given me this information that, and she wants you to know that when you're filling out your tithe envelope, She's saying, please remember to fill out your name so that you can, so that she can record your donation accurately. If you don't put your name on it, amen, and you're using it at the end of the year, you're not getting all your credit. So she's asking that if you would, please put your name on it, amen. Uh, want to, again, uh, put emphasis on our church calendar meeting we had one scheduled for last Saturday, uh, Saturday for last, I believe it was, uh, and uh, didn't know about how to show up. Amen. We are getting back into church. Amen. Amen. Uh, so the, we're going to be moving forward and doing other things except beside morning worship. Uh, I know we have done gotten comfortable. Amen. And coming in at 10 and getting out at 1130 and going to the house. Amen, amen, amen. But worship uh, uh, requires more than that. Amen, amen. I know COVID has set us back for a little while. Amen, but, but we are opening back up. Amen, so that we can praise God to the fullest. Amen, so we need you to show up. Amen, on uh, the first Saturday morning, April the 1st. And this is not April fool. Amen, amen. Uh, first Saturday morning in April at 9 a.m. so that we can discuss our calendar. Amen. Uh, we still have some things on that tended pending. Um, we still uh, uh, have our uh, uh, trip to D.C. on there. Uh, you might not see it on your program, but we want to make sure that we get our calendars out. Everyone get a calendar so that you'll know what's going on and, and when we are having uh, in service. Amen. Uh, our leadership meeting, um, we're asking in that meeting uh, if the uh, deacons, uh, the uh, chair of the trustees, we're not going to ask all the trustees because he can get that information out. 
to you, whatever thing that need to be gotten out to you. Uh, the, so we ask for the leadership meeting to be on April the 6th at 6.30. 6, April the 6th at 6.30. Amen. Uh, but we thank God for all of you. We have not been um, doing any online Bible study recently because we are striving to get everyone back into uh, our live Bible study. So we want you to come be a part of the Bible study so that we can share and learn together. So please, ma'am, please, sir, if you will. Uh, but we thank God for all that he is doing. Thank God for you, you, and you. Uh, God has is, is blessed us tremendously. Amen. And he's keeping us. Right. Amen. And we ask that you continue to pray for our communities. Amen. We uh, um, ask that you get involved. Uh, and uh, the thing that's going on in your community, because so many times we are, we are, we don't know anything or what's going on in our communities because we're not involved. Amen. There, there's so many avenues and so many things that uh, we can uh, receive and be a part of. Amen. But we have to get involved. Amen. Amen. So we praise God for you. Praise God for what he's doing. Uh, continue to keep us in your prayers that God will get the glory out of our lives. Amen. With that, we're going to ask the choir to come and give us a selection. After the choir give us the next selection, we will be back with the message for today. I woo My soul was sinking in a world of sin But grace and mercy it took me in It took my feet out of the mauric clay Then placed them on on a rock to stay and oh, what a relief it was when God rescued me. He loosed the chains that had me bound. And then he set me free. It felt like, just like, felt like, just like that cooling water. Sleepless nights in so much pain. Couldn't see no sunshine, nothing but rain. Now weeping may uh, endure for a night, but in the morning, oh, it will be all right. And oh, water, when God, um, nah, he loosed the chain. And then he set me free. It felt like, just like, felt like, just like that cooling water. It felt like, just like, felt like, just like, it felt good. That cooling water, just like I knew. Uh, that it would, just like I knew, uh, that it would, y'all. When he raised me, it fell just like, and I'm reminded of another water. I'm reminded of another water. When they took me down uh, in the water, they took me down to that living water to be baptized. They took me down to be baptized let me tell you what happened to me they baptized me in the name of the father and baptized me in the name of the son they baptized me in the name of the holy ghost and they all 
they owe me one. But that ain't all, y'all. Cause when I came up uh, out the water, I had a new walk. I just didn't walk uh, quite the same. And when I came up uh, out the water, I had joy in my heart. And when I came up uh, out the water, I had love in my heart. Another thing, y'all, it changed my mind. And I couldn't think uh, that same way. Changed my heart and gave me a different word to say. It changed me and I didn't want, uh, didn't want to just live. I wanted something that I could give. How about you today? Uh, praise God and for the water. Praise God and for the water. Is anybody going to praise him? Praise God for the water. Anybody been dipped? Anybody been dipped? Uh, anybody been dipped? Have you been dipped down? Dipped down in the water. The Holy Ghost was in the water. And deliverance was in the water. A peace of mind was in the water. And forgiveness was in the water. That cooling water from Grandma's way. Be the glory. Anybody praise God for the water? Amen. Thank you, choir. Amen for stirring us on this morning. Amen. This morning as we stand before you, amen, we want to acknowledge Mr. and Mrs. Jones and Appreciate y'all coming. Amen. Amen. I've noticed y'all had taken a break. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I've gotten used to seeing you all. Amen. Amen. But to God be the glory. Amen. 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 Uh, this morning, I want to invite you, and I'm not going to try to worry you long, but there's a word from the Lord. Amen. Uh, the word is found this morning in the book of Deuteronomy in the 8th chapter verses 1 through 10. Deuteronomy chapter number 8 verses 1 through 10. We desire your prayers this morning. Amen. We ask that you bow your heads with me. Precious God, this is me again. God, as I approach your throne of grace on this morning, needing help as I stand before your people. God, I pray that oh, we will sit down. God, and that you come forth. I pray that Obi oh, will decrease. You increase. You are the partner. I am the clay. All of you and less of me. God, speak, Lord, through these lips of clay. I yield myself to have thine way in this place. Lord God, we need a word from you. But we don't hear from you. God, we don't know what to do. So speak to your people today. And God, as your word is sown into our ears and into our hearts, we pray, God, that it fall on good ground. So have your way, O oh God. 
And God, when you're finished, when it's all said and done, you alone shall receive the glory, the honor, and the praise. It's in your son Jesus' name. We pray and ask all things. Amen. Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter, in the verse number one, you find these words. All the commandments which I commanded thee this day shall be observed to do, that you may live, multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee, to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldst keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger, fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither that our fathers know, that he might make thee know that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord does man live. Thy raiment wax not old upon thee, neither that thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chastened his son, so the Lord thy God chastened thee. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of all olives and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of those hills thou mayest dig grass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shall bless the Lord, thou God, for the good land which he had given thee. Out of the sixth verse, therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord, thou God, to walk in his way, and to fear him. I want to talk this morning from this thought. Don't forget God. Don't forget God. My brothers and sisters, as we view our text this morning, this is one of those texts that you could use to do a series of sermons. Uh, because when we look at the text, at Scripture, it's all about God and his love toward mankind. Uh, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But yet in this text, it is revealed to us how Israel, after being emancipated from the land of Egypt, from the bonds of slavery, and they have come now into the land of promise, to the land of milk and honey, and they soon forget about God, who delivered them from bondage. My brothers and sisters, when we look at this text, we are uh, and somewhat like that today. We have gotten so busy and caught up in the world system until we have forgotten about God. I ain't looking for no amen this morning. Uh, 
we are living in a time where we no longer desire to go to Bible study. Don't press our way to come to Sunday school. Uh, much less doing any mission work. We have a form of godliness. But we have forgotten our power source. How can we forget God? Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 through 3, the Bible says this. Remember now thou creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall bow themselves, and the ground is cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. So in other words, we ought not wait until trouble befalls us. Uh, we ought not wait until the storms of life be with us before we are reminded of who God is. Deuteronomy 5 and 9 it says, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul, with all thy might. And these words which I commanded thee this day shall be in thine heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shall talk to them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontless before thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house, and on the gates. So in essence, my brother and sister, the writer reminds Israel and he reminds us that we ought not ever forget about God. Because if we apply ourselves to the reading of God's word, everything we read is all about God. Psalm 24 and 1, the summit reminds us that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. In other words, it's letting us know that everything belongs to God. And since everything belongs to God, including our little mortal bodies, how in the world do we forget about God? We got to remember that he is a gracious God. He always allows us to enjoy the benefits of all that he has made. Regardless of our stubbornness, regardless of our hard-headedness, God is gracious. Regardless of our slowfulness, God is gracious. Regardless of our sinfulness, God is is gracious and because he is so gracious there are times when we forget about God and we begin to think that we have made it all by ourselves uh, but my brothers and sisters I stopped by this morning to serve notice we can't forget about God because it was God who created us. It was God who provides and still providing for us. For the Bible says in Romans 5 and 6, but when we were yet a fall off, when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died 
for our sins. In other words, yet while we was in our sins, it was God who provided for us a ram in the bush because he gave his only begotten son to take our place. Romans 6, 5, and 7 says, For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. I want you to know God is our provider. God is our way maker. Uh, Abraham called him Jehovah Jireh. God my provider. And the text reminds us this morning that, and gives us warning that we ought not to forget about God. I heard the songwriter say, Without God, I can do nothing. Without God, I would fail. Without God, my life would be drifting like a ship without a sail. My brothers and sisters, as we struggle through this thing called life, we sometimes forget about God. We become so preoccupied with the things of this world until we forget about the God who sent his son to redeem us. It is often when we begin to look at what we have and what we have accomplished, we forget about God. When things are going good, we have the tendency to forget about God. When there's no storms in our life, we have the tendency to forget about God. When our pockets are fat and we don't need no money, we have the tendency to forget about God. When our homes are going well, when our children are doing fine, we have the tendency to forget about God. But I stopped by the certain notice this morning that we ought not to forget about God. For it was God who kept us when the storms of life were raging. It was God who kept us when the hare hounds were knocking on your door. It was God who brought us through many trials and tribulations. It was God who's on our side. So don't forget about God. My brothers and sisters, when we think that we are in control, we forget about God. It gives us an illusion Because your job is doing good, your children are not locked up. The enemy gives us an illusion that we are doing well. While you're still looking good, uh, while you still have your physique, why women are still looking at you in men are still looking at you, we have the tendency to forget about God. And when you forget about God, it lures you into sin. Can I get a witness? And sin will lead us into death. Can I get a witness? And death without Jesus will lead us into eternal condemnation. Can I get a witness? So many times we forget about God. My brothers and sisters, when we think that we have it all in control, when we think that we don't need nobody else, uh, we are quickly drawn 
into an illusion and we forget about God. When sickness comes in our lives, our sense of security quickly evaporates. Let trouble knock on your door. Can I get a witness? But if you want real security, uh, you ought to look to Jesus because he has everything. He owns everything. He can fix anything. And he can save anybody. Can I get a witness? Uh, David declared in Psalm 121, I will lift my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Can I tell somebody? My help cometh from the Lord. Which made the heavens and the earth. But in our text today, it is a stern reminder of all the blessings that come when we remember God. Uh, one songwriter asked the question, how can I forget all that he's done for me? How can I forget how he set me free? Uh, we are reminded today what, that when we walk with God, when we keep his commandments, uh, God will fulfill his promise toward us. He's not a God that he should lie. Because what he says, God will do. Uh, when we live the way he commands us to live. Uh, when we walk the way he commands us to walk. God will uh, keep his promise. But the problem, my brothers and sisters, uh, is we want the promises of God. But we don't want to keep his commandments. We want the promises of God, but we don't want to live right. We want the promises of God, but we don't want to love right. Can I get a witness in here? But when we keep our mind stayed on Jesus, the Bible declares here, keep our minds in perfect peace. Is there anybody in this house? that made up in your mind that I'm going to keep my mind uh, stayed on Jesus. Uh, come hell or high water, uh, I'm not going to let nothing uh, separate me uh, from the love of God. Uh, is there anybody in this house that made up in your mind? Uh, I don't care how much money I have. I don't care how big my house is. Uh, I don't care how many friends I have, but I'm going to keep my mind uh, stayed on Jesus. Uh, I'm going to trust. In the text, God remind Israel that it was he who took care of them while they were in the wilderness for 40 years. While they were there, God provided food for them need. While they were there, the, the sanders never wore out. While they were there, the clothes never got old. Uh, you talking about God, who's able to keep us. Can I get a witness? Well, brothers and sisters, I come to tell you that sometimes we are stuck in the middle of the wilderness. But while you're in the midst of your wilderness situation, if you look to God, God will see you through. Can I get a witness in here? As I get ready to leave you now, I'm reminded that in this text, God tells them that he's taking them to a place where the brooks are flowing, where the wheat is plentiful, the fig trees and the pomegranates 
are running over. There's olive oil. There's milk and honey. And you can go in and eat all that you want. I wish I had a witness here. Well, when you look at us today, God had brought us into a place where we have everything that we need. God had brought us into a place where most of us have more than we need. Can I get a witness? Uh, our, our, our refrigerators are full. Uh, some of us have deep freezers running over. Uh, go to your closet and you have more clothes than you can wear. Can I get a witness? Uh, uh, look down at the shoes and you have shoes for every day of the month. Can I get a witness? God had brought us into a place of milk and honey. But I'm afraid my brothers and sisters that in God bringing us uh, into this blessed place that we have forgotten uh, about God. Can I get a witness? Uh, we have forgotten about the God uh, that is able to deliver us. We have forgotten about the God uh, that is able to keep us. Uh, we have forgotten about the God that is able to heal us. Uh, but why your pocket's fat? You ought to remember God. Huh? Why your cup is full. Huh? You ought to remember God. Huh? Why your body is healed. Huh? You ought to remember God. Huh? Don't forget. Good evening, first in your life. But I believe that the problem with us and America today is that we have become comfortable not only with what we have, but we have become comfortable around sin. The gospel is compromised and we are comfortable. We have forgotten about God. But God said that we ought to teach our children. We don't do that no more. Because the world have gotten so caught up with social media and, and all this other stuff until when we're sitting at the table. Because the scripture said we ought to teach them while we're sitting at the table. I ain't know what to say. But nowadays when we're sitting at the table, Sister God, everybody got got their own device. Uh, nobody talking about Jesus anymore. Can I get a witness? He said you ought to teach them when you're walking along the way. But we got that device. And if we're not careful, a lot of times we're about to walk out in the traffic. And nobody is talking about God. I, I wish I had a witness here. We've gotten to the place that even now when we come together and when we want to fellowship, we want to talk about everything but God. We can't forget God because God is the reason that we're here. God is the source of our existence. God is the source of our help. God is everything that we need. Can I get a witness? We have forgotten, forgotten about God. But we need to understand, my brothers and sisters, you can't have heaven's blessings while we're looking and living like the world. We want heaven's blessings but we don't want to serve God. Something wrong with that. Huh? Seek ye first. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye first the kingdom 
of God. In his righteousness and everything else. That's that what the Bible says. Will be added into it. But we have gotten away from God. We put everything now before God. Huh? Put our job. Put our vacations. Huh? Put our desires. Huh? All these things of the world. We take and put in front of God. But God reminded me that we ought not forget about him. Because it's in him we move. It's in him we breathe. It's in him we have our very existence. So how can we forget about God? The very one who woke you up this morning. You didn't get up by yourself. The alarm clock didn't wake you up. It was Jesus who stretched out his hands of mercy. Touched our feeble bodies. And we was able to get up from a dead sleep. Can I get a witness? How can we forget about God who allowed us to sit up on the side of our bed? Stand up on our own two feet. I wish I had a witness in here. The God that allowed us to put one step in front of another step. A God that is set a tone in our right mind. Can I get a witness in here? How can we forget about God? We ought to keep our mind stayed on Jesus. We ought to set our affection on the things above and not on the things in the earth. And Proverbs says, in all our ways, we all acknowledge him, and he will direct our path. My brother and sister, first new life, we need to go back to God. Because we have forgotten God. And if you would examine our steps. We can look back over our lives every day and recognize, wait a minute, I forgot. We forgot about God. Because when we are reminded of the goodness of Jesus, we'll share it with somebody else. You tell somebody on your job, there's a God that's keeping you. Huh? You, you, you tell your family member, there's a God that's keeping you. We have gotten so far away from God until we don't even want to share him with our family members. And we know some of them are lost. Am I talking to anybody here? We know we have some that's not saved. But we have gotten so far away from God that we dibble and dabble in anything. Some conversation we know that we shouldn't be in. Some things that we know we shouldn't be in. We've gotten away from God. But guess what? God has an all DNA. God is here everything. So we can't hide nothing from God. And when God get tired, he'll snatch the coat. Why? Because we have forgotten God. So I want to encourage you this morning. As I take my seat, I want to encourage you. Don't forget God. In everything that you do, in everywhere that you go, 
and all that you have. Don't forget God. Because it's God that's going to have the final say. It's God that we're going to have to stand before. And we're going to hear him say, well done. Or we're going to hear him say, depart. So let's remember God while the blood is still running warm in our veins. Let's serve God while we still have time. We all the work, wise day. Because night is coming after a while. And when night comes, no man can work. So serve the Lord while we have a chance. God bless you this morning, and may heaven smile upon you. Come on and give God praise. Come on and give God praise. We'll pick the rest of it up on the next series. Amen. To God be the glory. God is good to us. And it ought to be more than a saying to us. Amen. You ought to know that you know that you know that God has been merciful in our lives. God has been patient and God is long suffering. Because if it had been some of us, some of the things that we do to God, we'd have done cut them off. Don't forget God. The choir is going to sing. We ask that you stand all over the building. As you're standing this morning, the doors of the church is open. There may be someone here today that don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. If you're here and you don't know him as your personal Savior, we invite you to come. Give your life to Jesus and make you a boy with him that you might become his, his disciple. Is the one today that don't know Jesus and the heart of your sin. Is the one, is the one. As we offer up this praise unto your The doors of the church name. is open. Maybe there's someone that have joined us by YouTube or Facebook. May have joined us by Zoom. If you're watching us this morning, And you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. We want to extend to you an invitation. That you come and give God your heart. Allow him to be Lord of your life. I want you to know that God loves you this morning. And he cares for you. If you're sitting there and you're watching us on your device this morning, whether it's your phone or whether it's on television or however you may have joined us. If you want Jesus in your life, I want to invite you to join me in this prayer. Pray and believe God that he will hear you and he will answer accordingly. Will you pray, dear God? I confess that I am a sinner. God, I need you in my life. God, I've sinned and come short of your glory. But I believe that through the word that I've heard today that you are forgiving God. 
I believe, God, that you sent your son to die in my place. And God, I surrender my life to you even right now. I'm so sorry for my sin. And God, I thank you this morning for forgiving me. Thank you for accepting me. That you look at me not through uh, my own unworthiness, but that you look at me through the blood of Jesus. So God, I say thank you. Thank you for salvation right now. I give you praise, I give you glory, and I give you honor. Now, God, allow your spirit to lead, guide, and to direct me. To teach me all things that I need to know. That I might gain eternal life. Lord, I pray this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. And if you prayed that prayer, if you believe that in your heart, the Bible declared that you are saved. Because the Bible said, if thou wilt confess with thy mouth, believe in thine heart that God hath raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So today, you can walk in victory. You can walk knowing that God has forgiven you of your sin. And I encourage you not to stay where you are, but I encourage you to come out from where you are that you might be in fellowship with like-minded Christians at a church where the word is being taught and the word is being preached that you might grow in the grace of God. God bless you on this morning and may heaven smile upon you. And before we be seated, there may be someone here today that just as our prayer you're here and you desire prayer this morning, why don't you make your way to the altar that we might pray together?
Somebody ought to give God praise in the sanctuary. Amen. What an awesome God we serve. We thank God today for this time that we have spent with him. Amen. And as we prepare to leave from this amount of privilege, amen, uh, Deacon uh, Mitchell uh, wanted me to again uh, elaborate on uh, he need to meet with the Pastor A Committee and the Kitchen Committee. He said, he needs you about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And so we ask that you please, ma'am, please, sir, amen, uh, give him that 10 minutes. Amen, amen, that God will be pleased with what we do. Amen. Uh, I want to say today that uh, I was so blessed uh, last week. I, and the reason it would bless my soul is because a young man that uh, was with us and went back to Maryland, Holland. Y'all remember Holland? Yeah. Uh, Holland. Uh, and I, I received an envelope from Holland. 
And in the envelope was Harlan's tithe. Amen. 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 So I believe he got him a little job up there in Maryland. So he wants to make sure that first new life, where he received the Lord, and where he became a member, he wanted to send the tithe back. Amen. 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 So, so. Somebody come get Highland tithe. Amen. I bless my soul, a young man. Amen. A young man. Amen. Uh, that still have his mind stayed on Jesus. Amen. A young man who have not forgotten about God. Amen. 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 So we, we pray the Lord for him. And we want to continue to pray that God will continue to strengthen and keep him. Amen. Why he's away from us. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Um, nothing else. Let us stand. Amen. And we might receive the benediction. And again, uh, as we prepare to leave, we ask that you exit to my right. Go down the corridor. And as you go down the corridor, you'll find the offering plate, the tithe box. Give as God had prospered and had blessed you. You can't be God given. Amen. I don't care how much you give, you can't outgive him. Amen. Amen. And you can't pay your way to heaven. Amen. Amen. So let's be obedient to the word. Amen. That we give as God has commanded us. And again, let's hear this choir. Amen. 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 We thank God for the choir and the musician. Amen. And let us continue to pray one for another. Amen. That God will get the glory out of our lives. Amen. Let us look to the Lord. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may it rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Until we shall meet again, this is our prayer in Jesus' name. And let us lift up our voices together with the choir. Told y'all Sister Robinson was coming. You coming? Hey, brother Dave. Thank you.